in the small New South Wales town of Nana Glen. We're going to visit Terry Wilson, check out his Jeeps. This is where we hold Camp Coffs, our yearly event. And Terry's been into Jeeps for a long time, owned lots of different models. So we're going to check out what he's got currently in his sheds, and we'll see if we can get a cup of tea out of him as well. Terry! Michael, how are you? Going? you? It's been a long time. It has. <laughs> it's good to see you. Lovely day for it. Beautiful, beautiful. Where'd you get this jacket from? Oh, around and about. Might have been online. Hey, do you want to come in? Yes. Okay, well, let's have a look. A couple of nice Wranglers here. JK and a TJ. This one's, although it's a, an 08 plated one, it's actually manufactured in 07. Yep. And this one, the TJ is a mid-1996, but first registered in Australia in 97. Okay, so they're both really the first year models of, of both the runs. Yes, and I actually think the TJ might even be one of the first ones imported into Queensland. Um, it's a Queensland car. Okay, now how many kilometres you got on your JK now? It's got just over 170,000. I don't do a lot of kilometres on this one. And how long have you owned it? Uh, seven years. Seven. I was okay. really impressed. I've had a drive of the new Gladiator and at Camp Coffs, and I'm really impressed, but at this stage, I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> yeah. Now let's have a look. You've got some good gear on here. You've got the snorkel, bigger tyres, rock rails. And it's got a two inch lift inside yep. it as well. Okay. Right, out, Terry, come and show me what we've got in here. Well, Michael, most of the uh, standard things you can throw in. Uh, got a GPS there, got a little Is dash. Here? Yep. Dash came out the front and little banker switches here. Now, this controls the highlights, the high beam lights and also the winch. So I've got a winch in, winch out. Okay, cool. And, and yep. switch it on. So it's nice and convenient there. You don't have to worry about the batteries in a remote control or getting out and plugging it in. So what's the dash cam for? Are you worried about uh, someone hitting you or are you uh, hitting someone else? Um, well, probably a little bit of that, but I also use it for footage um, when I'm, you can pull out the little SD card and put it together and put something up on Facebook to show people where you've okay, been. Yes. Always interesting. Yep. Another great feature here which Terry's put on. The JK Wranglers are um, renowned, as you know, Terry, for uh, leaking water. They come down here, all the water runs down the gutter, which it should, but gets to this point normally and runs down here and drips in there and annoys you, doesn't it? It, it does, and it was all, I was always trying to find a way to fix it, and then you showed me a set of these. These are an aftermarket product that brings the water all the way down, down here, and doesn't drip inside the vehicle. Yep. So they've been good, works good? Yeah, look, it works great. They channel the water away. No good if you're putting a soft top on, but if you're gonna keep the hard top on, uh, keeps Terry nice and dry. Now, give me a rundown on the TJ. What, what's it got? Well, Michael, this is a 96, first registered in Queensland in early 1997. Mm -hmm. I've owned it for about five years, something like that. Yep. Um, found it locally. Um, the, Got about 160,000 Ks on it, a little bit of a body lift, um, tyres are pretty much standard, but it's uh, been a very reliable vehicle. Okay. Clean as usual. Yeah, Terry clean. So a great engine, as all of our Jeep is now, the four litre, pretty well bulletproof. Automatic? Automatic, three yeah. speed. Yep, early early ones were three speed. See, this has got air conditioning. This was had the uh, Renegade pack in it, so it's got air conditioning and a couple of other little highlights that were uh, made a little bit different from the Sport. Oh, that's good, Terry. Now, I believe you have a story about this Jeep that's uh, a recent story. Yes, Michael. Um, back in early May this year, I got a call from Jeep Australia and they were looking for a fairly stock standard Renegade to use in a promotional thing. Uh, and I thought about it for five seconds and said yes. About a month or so later, I was contacted by Samantha and she said, uh, Terry, we used your Jeep in an ad uh, using Jack Thompson. It's the Jeep Wave ad. And nice. I was really chuffed to yes. hear that given a bit of a clean out the other day and I found a pair of glasses under the seat. Really? Who do you think they are? Well, I tried them on, they weren't mine. So <laughs> You've I, got yours here. I've got mine here, so I actually think they're Jack's and you might give them back to him the next oh. time you see him. Well, I'd like to see him and he doesn't live far away. No. We'll keep that one going so we can get these back to Jack, but uh, the advert's great. Yeah. So it's a very famous Jeep. Should be. And I know you've got something very interesting under the shed. Yes, Michael, I do have something special under the shed, but um, I think it's time for a cup of tea. Thought you'd never ask. Now, I'm gonna try one of these biscuits. Who made them? 
Well, you made them, Michael. They're called chunky monkeys. <laughs> as healthy as you can ever find. Have they got any fruit in them? I know you've been a Jeeps for quite a long time. It's interesting. I was only thinking about the other day how many I've sort of owned through the years, and it's, I came up with a count of about 12. Really? Um, which surprised me, but some of them I didn't own for very long, and some of them were sort of trade ones where I'd bought the, the carcass to trade on for something else. But um, my first Jeep was a Combat 6, which was the Australian version of the CJ5 with a straight 6, yep, 170 with... cubic inch uh, Ford motor in it. Yeah, with the Ford engine, yep. And you've been uh, involved with Camp Coffs for quite a few years? Yeah, I went. To, uh, the first Camp Coffs I went to was in 2006, and I've been to everyone since then. And you graduated in becoming a trip leader and got roped in by someone uh probably <laughs> but um I've had a good time doing that it's actually quite enjoyable showing people uh the highlights of the local area yep. and you know just talking about jeeps and getting together and having a, a few days yep. away from everything yep well i think you should uh have one of them biscuits and uh, i might just stick with a scotchy i think <laughs> <laughs> no worries i'll i'll be in front <laughs> yeah thanks for that cup of tea terry is very nice uh, no worries michael now I know you've got something hidden down here. I'm sure our viewers are going to like seeing it. Yeah, well, it's got a little unit here which has got a great story to it. And it's got an army jeep tub in it, but it's actually a CJ3B underneath running gear and, and a, a military World War II jeep tub. body and with a V6 Ford Capri motor in it. Nice. Now, the retained right hand drive. Yes, yeah, so this was came off the CJ3B part of it, um, which was a 1958 model. Capri, Capri motor. Three that's letter. right. Yes. Three letter, okay. And that's mated to the T90 gearbox. And apparently, according to the guy who built it, who was called Roger North, um, there was a straight fit. There was no okay. adapter plate required for it. And uh, she's all set up, got a roll bar in there. Yes. Bit of um, safety. Bit of safety. That was a component, and this mirror is the original line of the. Uh, bracket supports okay, for it. Yep, kept a nice size tie, which is good. A lot of them get yes. blown up and big, so that's good. Yeah, it's not to, um, complete the standard, so I feel that I've got a little bit of liberty and freedom to fiddle with it and put yeah, some things exactly, into yeah. it that no, I want it's to. It's not a, uh, it's not standard. You just put your own touch to it. Yeah. Well, let's have a look at this engine. So part of the story on this particular model is it's got four clips, um, which is usually an indication it was an Australian Army. Um, modification which it was okay and um, the guy who built it Roger North if anybody wants to google Roger North uh, Gundawindi Queensland it'll bring up a story that tells a great story about this exact deep tub when he bought it about back in this, 1958 about this one that's right cool it's in 1958 he was 14 years of age and he went to buy a Jeep with his mother in Brisbane at the disposals um, he was able to through some quick thinking uh, buy a Jeep which was supposed to be for dealers only and even though he was 14 he drove it home to Esk in Queensland. Nice. You've got some assisted brakes here. Yes, they, um, th there were some requirements to uh, for registration which included an increase in the in the brake yep. power plus some lighting and a few other bits and pieces. Yep. Got a good winch, um, it's strong enough to pull this plus something else but it's, the vehicle's not really heavy enough to do recovery so if you've got to do a recovery of another vehicle you've virtually got to secure it to something else yep. for the strength. Okay. Not a daily driver, it um, does Anzac Day duty so it'll convey veterans on our Anzac yep. Day parade and um, just have, has a good time at Camp Coss playing around with the other Jeeps. Yep, right. righto, let's have a look down the back here. Of course you've got the uh, never break down wipers. Absolutely. Hand operated. Hand operated Can't wipers. No, no, they're, they're good. Break down. Yes. <laughs> Bar there. <laughs> the old head. Yeah. I did a bit of a modification, as I said. So underneath the thing, I've got some storage oh. uh, built in for different oils and lubrications. Yep. Um, so there's some transmission fluid, a little bit of uh, diff oil, and some engine oil in there. Now, um, do you know what body it is? Or is it? Uh, it's it... a GPW, probably about 1944. Unfortunately, um, the the identification marks were removed from the GPW. Um, when they installed the engine, so okay. can't quite pick up what yeah. um, what the engine, what the uh, body was. Okay, around here we've got retained a spare on the back, jerry can, yep, some sort of holder, yep, <laughs> and you've got the big whip aerial here. Got the big whip aerial. Um, the the bumperettes down here, I've I've reversed them. Originally they came this version, but I understand that as part of the Australian Army modifications, I turned upside down, and the only reason I could think they did that was to stop people using them as um, as mud scrapers. 
some of the conversions they've done when they kept them in the Australian Army right up to the 60s, wasn't yep. it? This side here, we've got your shovel and axe, the military Jeep configuration. Yep, a little bit of a modification here with the fuel tank. Yep. All right, Terry, I see you've uh, got a bit more garden art here. It looks a bit, I guess you say a bit Jeepified because they could be off anything, but I know they are Jeep parts. I know you're collecting and not throwing things away, so. I do have a little bit of an obsession with collecting some stuff at different times. I'm not a hoarder, but I do collect a bit of stuff. Um, I just couldn't see these just go to a scrap um, place. So, as we know, Jeepers collect all sorts of things and signs and memorabilia, but you know, you've got Jeep parts and you've done that. So if I need one of these rotors, can we strip it down and use it? Oh, look, I'm happy for it to be repurposed and I think you'd, you'd be the one to do the job. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Michael, it's been a pleasure having you around. It's great looking around and your collection of Jeeps, hearing about your previous Jeeps. Uh, we've got to get you out camping more in that little flat fender so um, yeah it's all good now I think I'll give these back to you to hold on to because I'm very good at losing things and um, I'll try and make an arrangement for you to meet Jack and give them back to him personally if okay. they're his yes I might and try and get him to Camp Coffs well that's a good idea because we can always put him back in Jack's yes, Jeep and charge for photos ah, no. who not <laughs> thanks again mate no worries see ya take care